Hey, hey, hey guys, Noogie here, and today's video is gonna be about Dark Souls 2. I've been playing uh, this game for around five, six days, I think. Um, and so I just wanted to give you guys uh, my impressions of uh, the game so far. Um, since this is my, uh, this is gonna be like uh, the end of the journey, uh, for now at least, uh, I'll definitely pick up the game again, and I'll tell you why later. Um, that's why I'm making this video. So Dark Souls 2, what is it? So it's it's the successor to Dark Souls. It's pretty much in the same universe as Dark Souls 1. Um, but it's a thousand years later and it's like um, you still have the remnants of some of the Dark Souls 1 universe. But this is like a new world that's come up afterwards. Um, first off... Uh, as always in these uh, Souls games, the story can be pretty hard to understand and get into. You're set in this open world uh, with some sort of mission uh, to regain my humanity or whatever it is. Um, so I journey out. Uh, like I am an undead. How can I? How can I redo the curse or whatever it is? I, I don't really. It, it's pretty hard to understand. But there are plenty of videos out there if you want to understand more about the lore so let's let's talk more about the game itself so it's set in the souls universe um, an open world action role-playing game um, we have a variety of weapons spells uh, ways to dodge enemies you can block enemies you can parry enemies you can do different types of attacks there are a lot of combinations here you have an endless amount, almost, um, of different um, reagents or items that you can use to invade others, both uh, innocent and guilty. Uh, you get a lot of uh, souls. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil anything here. Uh, but yeah, you get souls. Like you accumulate souls to gain power, um, and so on. So the weapons I've chosen to go with on this character has been like the, the double katana. Um, it's a two hand build where you can, as you can see here, this is the normal stance, but you can power stance them to an extra uh, move set. So in Dark Souls, um, it doesn't really matter what weapon you use. It's mostly what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with using range attack and spells, that can be a route. If you're comfortable with uh, katanas, that could do like uh, quick damage in quick succession with different combos that can be done as well um, you can have light armor and roll really fast I'll show you what happens if I put on some heavier armor I'm just gonna take some rain. yes there we go now I'm super heavy and you can see like on this I'm basically a, a hunk of metal a rock or uh, whatever I, I could be wearing a shield as well for even a heavier look Let's use the tower shield. Like, I can't use this because I don't really have the stats for it. You can you can dual wield. You can have it on your back. You can do like this. And then you have the... You can like, use the shield slam. Now I roll really slow compared to before because my equipment load, like the total amount of things I'm wearing, will tear, like will hold me down. So I get really sluggish and heavy, but with a setup like this, I would be super tanky, like physical attacks would just peel off me, I would just stand there with my shield and like guard myself and like they would pound and like nothing would get through. Um, so that's really cool. So to get into the, um, so, so the game in all, like th this is the main, the, the basic game here. So it's been out for quite a while on P, uh, PS3. Um, it's originally designed for consoles, and that shows. Um, in Dark Souls 1, uh, you were locked in on PC with 30 frames per second, now you get 60 frames per second. If you unlocked it to 60 in Dark Souls 1, it would have these all odd side effects where you wouldn't be able to dodge as far, it would, it would limit you in many ways. The invulnerability frames, which is whenever you do a dodge roll, you're invulnerable for a pure, short period of time. Because of the frames in Dark Souls 1, like when you when you uh, got twice as many, 
it cut the time in half that you would be vulnerable, so that was very bad. Version of Dark Souls 2, we have 60, uh, 60 uh, frames per second, really nice. Controls are pretty smooth. Um, one of my biggest gripes, however, with the PC version, and I'll show you here, is this. Normally, when you start out on PC, you will have something like this. You will have left click. You will have strong attack. Uh, double clicks. The reason why this is so bad is that everything done on the mouse, everything that's to do with the left click, right, uh, double click, right click, um, all these things that can be triggered by doing multiple um, clicks on one button, they've introduced a uh, a delay. So there is input delay, but that's uh, something that's forced on you. You cannot remove it because it has to wait to see if you're doing a double click. So there's half a second as you press one, and then you have if if you press again, it's gonna do the other attack. So if you're spamming it and you're trying to do this, like this is just the normal attack. This is not the strong attack. Uh, if I had the normal binds, it would start doing strong attacks and it would wait and then it would do a strong attack again and again. What I've done instead is I've used something called auto hotkey. Um, I'll, I'll show you how that works um, after I go over the explanation of the game first. So uh, other than that, um, from playing Dark Souls 1, um, I had my expectations uh, were definitely met. Uh, I, I enjoyed my entire playthrough as much as I did Dark Souls 1, uh, especially after the controls were in order. Um, some of the NPCs I didn't find as interesting as in Dark Souls 1, um, but from my understanding they're adding lore uh, as they patch the game and add DLC, uh, and they also did this in Dark Souls 1, so there's more to come. Um, it took me, I took used 20 hours in the first character, but most, like 50% of the time, was mostly to do with fixing up my key setup and uh, fixing the build I wanted to do. Um, I then made a reroll and I cr uh, completed the game on this character, uh, not using shields or anything, just um, melee weapons, which was a challenge in itself, because the game is designed for you to use spells and you need to use all these consumables and you need to use the shields and like all these different bosses will have different challenges for you uh, there, are, there are different enemies that uh, will do different actions to you they they move very close to what you do uh, in many scenarios um, you'll be faced with having to deal with the fire spells coming in you while uh, enemies are raining down upon you uh, a lot of people have a big gripe with um, the graphics as well, saying, oh, it's so outdated, it's so terribly looking, but I really do appreciate the fact that this game can be run on nearly any PC. It runs really smooth. In a game like this that's so... Um, where every single movement matters, especially if you're playing a quick, fast character with quick attacks but very squishy, the movement has to be so crisp, and it is. Every single, I, I really feel that when I do a boss fight, he does the swing. If I time it right every single time, there's not gonna be any lag, there's not gonna be any delay when you set it up right, and it just feels really nice. And you can really feel that you have control of your character, and you have control over the boss fights, which is super, super nice. Um, a lot of good boss fights here in Dark Souls 2. Um, sometimes uh, I feel like they were a little bit better in Dark Souls 1, but there are, believe me, there are a lot of boss fights that are really cool here. Uh, New Game Plus 1 adds another set of challenges. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can add aesthetics to Bonfire as well. There's a lot of things I won't go into right now because I, I don't want to spoil anything. I want you guys to explore the game, enjoy the game. That's why I'm really not doing anything right now, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil anything, because that would be sad. What I did from my playthrough, I, I had no spoilers at all. I did a completely blank playthrough. It was hardest ballest times. I nearly like threw my mouse like into the wall, and I don't know what, because I was so frustrated at a few fights, because I was determined that 
I wanted to do this katana wielding uh, character, quick and agile, and they could do anything. And I yeah, made it through, it can be done. But sometimes you have to accept the fact also that maybe you should be using a bow or a spell with an AoE or something. It, it might help you out. So, yeah, um, I definitely recommend anyone if you're interested in an open world, action-packed role-playing game with a lot of cool NPCs, uh, a lot of dark lore, a lot an uh, unforgiving gameplay, uh, unforgivingly difficult at times. Uh, if you if you can master that, I can definitely recommend you this game. So with that, I'm going to show you how to as a mouse and keyboard user to get. Uh, an easier time in the game. So I'm going to show you my auto hotkey setup. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go here, you want to download auto hotkey at autohotkey.com. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So over here I have my auto hotkey setup. This looks more difficult than it is. It's just a, a text block that you will load uh, as this auto hotkey file. Uh, it's you can just uh, run it and it's gonna load automatically. You can always suspend it, exit it, um, pause it, whatever. So you can stop it. Um, as you can see here, if win active, this is gonna make sure that it's uh, for Dark Souls. I'm not really sure how this works. This is something that was made for me. The mo main thing here is this. It is all this down here. So for my jump attack, it's pretty easy. This uh, this particular means that it's not gonna take uh, this this key right here means that then you can just write something afterwards. It means everything that comes after this, this semicolon, uh, it's not um, it's not used in the script. So what you do is you do R, and then you do uh, double double colon, because then you're gonna you're gonna script whenever you press um, R into something else. So whenever I press R, it does send. W down, so it, imagine someone's pressing W down, it waits uh, 20 milliseconds, and then it presses G down, and then it waits 20 milliseconds, and then it re like it lets go of them at the same time. This means that I can do a jump attack. This is forward, and this is uh, a normal swing. So I press down, and it jumps. Normally you would have to uh, use the mouse, but with the mouse delay and all that, it gets really obnoxious. So instead, I've just made it easy for myself. I press R once, jump attack. I feel that it's okay using auto hotkey right now with how mouse binds R. Some people might say, see, say, oh, that's not like that's not how you're supposed to play the game. Ultimately, the game is about having fun. It's about being able to control your character in the way that feels good. It's a way. Um, it's it's about having full control. If you have to sit here and mess with a terrible mouse control. Nobody want to like deal with that. So this is much easier. R, jump attack. I can press two. Guard break. Good. There are some other things you can set up. But so my guard break is two, as you can see here. Two. Whenever I press two, it will do this command here, uh, and then return. I don't actually know how this works, but I saw another one, and I added a return here, so we go back to normal, I guess. And so this means that. Every time you press 2, it's going to do this command. You could also just do, um, let me show you here. A simple solution would be space, like this, H. If I have this right here, it just means that my space is now H instead. Let me just remaps the key. Uh, I have a few others here. Uh, I have the dodge. Um, normally, um, you have it so that whenever you press down and hold, it will sprint. If I press down, it's gonna instantly on 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 key press down. It's gonna it's gonna actually press my space down and press it up straight away again. So that means I don't have to wait, or I can just I don't have to let go. I know that every time I press space, it rolls for me, even though I hold it down. I just feel like on keyboard and mouse. It's not a controller is completely different, and I, I feel like having multiple functions on one key on a keyboard mouse setup is really stupid. I don't understand why they went with this direction. Maybe they tried it to emulate the controller as much as possible, but I feel that it's the completely wrong way to go. So this is my setup instead. 
Then I have... A lot of people don't like this, but I have uh, the sprint here instead that I toggle. It does the same thing, but I have more control over it, I feel. Okay? So in key bindings, you pretty much unclick, uh, you pretty much undo anything that's to do with clicks. For the most part, I could actually do this as well. Yeah, nothing here, nothing here. Anything that's to do with click, just unbound the entire mouse, right? What you need to do here instead is uh, we just bind all these, mm -mm. right? So uh, here in the attacks, we have strong attack or attack right hand H, strong attack G, Q and E. <coughs> So the, the reason why these work with mouse, right? I'm clicking with my mouse right now is because I've rebound these. I've rebound um, my mouse clicks to emulate uh, keyboard clicks. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, here we go. So right attack weapons, left button becomes H, right button becomes G. Um, X button 1 becomes U, uh, X button 2 becomes Y. Right? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. And you can remap this uh, in any way you want so that you can uh, remap everything away from the mouse, but you make all the mouse clicks act as keyboard clicks so you don't get the input delay. And all of a sudden it feels much better. I would definitely recommend um, using at least uh, using at least whatever however much time it takes for you to get a good keybind set up. You want to make sure you have um, the jump set up, you know, like the dashes, like the way you run, the way you lock and target. Um, I target with my uh, you see that's Y the X speed key. This one is my target key. So whenever I click this. I lock onto things, so so definitely uh, use some time setting on auto hotkey, and then the game becomes a completely different experience. One that I can recommend to the skies. I really like the Soul series, um, and this is another great one uh, of those. So yeah, if you're into um, this sort of gameplay, check out the game. If not, well, too bad for you. Anyways, um, that's it for today. Um, a quick info here. The PC throw video is going to come out very, very soon. So look forward to that. And uh, we're going to have some more Diablo gameplay and some more Diablo videos coming soon as well. Um, so, until next time, guys. Have a good one.